Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. At least that is how the saying goes. Lastly, I conclude that Batman is in fact insane. I'm Njol, hashtag Sasseron, links to my stuff down below, and welcome to my TED talk. And today's topic is Batman, or rather the city of Gotham and a horror location known as Arkham Asylum. As an overqualified mid consumer, armchair psychologist, and a person with opinions, the scourge of Twitter 12, but I digress. Batman is a very prophetic hero, a brutally efficient coma puncher, that tussles with all manner of crooks and creeps in the streets at night, during the day, and even in space. Popular fan wanking will have you believe that he is prepared for anything, even fighting Superman. Maybe, maybe. But personally, I do not think so. Why? I'll tell you why, because he clearly has several screws loose. But more on that later. After all, Superman just has a drop something happened from orbit and Batman is crushed and he could just destroy the Earth because superpowers. But Batman could likely just see the clothes with the help of chemtrails laced with kryptonite dust. Cherry carrying of the stuff. But that is hard enough, I'd say. Just put powder in a smoke bomb and puff. Superman is down due to a habit of punching people instead of just flying them really high until they pass out. Suddenly everyone's favorite conspiracy theory became real. And yes, I do think Superman will beat Batman due to, due to Batman being a well-trained man with tools. Also, that statement should get the blood uh, boiling on everyone. You're welcome. Back to the topic of hand. Batman's whole stick is to catch colorful crazy villains and put them back in the box they came from, in the worst um, asylum next to Bedlam. Arkham is more like a jail than a treatment facility for madman that needs to be protected from himself and society at large. Man's as the Joker, a reoccurring villain that stays out as a cardinal for the cruel contrast to the Dark Knight himself, this clone prince of crime, is somehow still alive and kicking despite multiple punches to the face. This is most likely due to pa Batman's no-kill policy, despite the body count the Joker has behind him. Yes, Batman captures criminals, put the worst of the lot into specialized cells within Arkham Asylum. The Joker always ends up back in there and always gets out again a week later, more or less. Continuity is not a common thing in comics, so I'll gleefully ignore that. Besides, Arkham is pretty much permanent anywho. In fact, that madhouse is probably the most constant and persistent place in all of the DC universe. This weird old building has been there for a very very long time, and long before Batman became a violent vigilante. Also the reason why almost every crook and hero that exists in Gotham has gone mad. I do in fact believe that Asylum itself is an eldritch abomination feeds upon the sanity of humanity. Yes. I envision it as a malevol malevolent entity that has turned everyone and the mother mad. Suddenly the Russia ghouls plot to destroy the city itself makes so much more sense. From the general looks of things, Batman is under the influence of this being as well. He might be the best detective in the world, but he has yet to figure out a plan to keep people behind the walls once they get there, let alone a way to actually fix their minds. The only therapist I've seen in this series turned into Harlequin, and she hooked up with a Joker. Which brings me back to the quote at the beginning. Batman keeps doing the same thing over and over again, putting crazy people behind bars, all for them to get loose... Um, and he has done this, then he has to do this all over again. Essentially, Batman is either insane, willfully ignorant, or just dense. Because his method does not work, despite having a plan to stop anyone he might encounter. Like and follow me on social media, links down below. Y'all signing out.